Um, I saw this over the weekend, and it was talked about this morning on Morning Edition. Uh, two longtime right-wing Fox News commentators have resigned in protest of what they call a pattern of incendiary and fabricated claims by that network's opinion hosts in support of Donald Trump. Now, I'll get to the details of that in just a second. You know, the orange vomit, who is still referred to in uh, so many media outlets as the former president or Donald Trump, um, he is he's not deserving of a name, although the Trump name is a disgrace. But for me, the orange vomit works. That's just me. So while the orange vomit is the, the, the Hitler uh, representative in this fascist attempt to take over the United States, the field marshal that has emerged is uh, Tucker Carlson. Field marshal Tucker Carlson, who travels to fascist regimes throughout Eastern Europe and to, to promote fascism in those countries and on his program on the Fox sewer to promote it here. Tucker Carlson right now is probably one of the most dangerous people in the United States, not because he himself is bold or brave or manly or a stalwart or muscular or, or no, because he has a mouth that is pumping poison into the airwaves of this country. Tucker Carlson is a propagandist. Um, and you've heard the pen is mightier than the sword. The mouth is mightier than both of them. So we have Field Marshal Tucker, Tucker Carlson, and he is now causing people to resign, if you can believe this, from the Fox sewer. In a couple of interviews with NPR, Stephen Hayes and Jonah Goldberg, they're the two who have resigned. They pointed to a breaking point for them earlier this month. And before I get into this, let, let, let me just add that Jonah Goldberg and Stephen Hayes uh, could have left the Fox sewer so many times over the past year because of Tucker Carlson and the rest of these swine who congregate at the Fox sewer, and they did not. So while their departure from the Fox sewer should be celebrated, I guess the celebratory attitude will not be found on this podcast. But these two right-wingers, Stephen Hayes and Jonah Goldberg, uh, pointed to the point, or pointed to the uh, uh, Field Marshal Carlson's three-part series earlier this month on the January 6th siege of the United States Capitol. And the fact that the three-part series, which I did not see, but every neo-Nazi in this country did, I'm absolutely positive, but... The series relied on lies, conspiracy theories, all sorts of bullshit in order to exonerate the, 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 the MAGA scum who attempted to overthrow the government and uh, the United States and in that process would have stopped at nothing short of anything. Really, they would have killed people had they given a chance, had, been, had they been given a chance. So... What Field Marshal Tucker Carlson is attempting to do is to whitewash the most egregious attack on this country since the War of 1812. Tucker Carlson is a traitorous filth. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. He should be thrown out of the United States. He really should. Anyway, Jonah Goldberg told NPR this morning, quote, it's basically saying that the Biden regime... He's referring to Carlson's three-part series that the Biden regime is coming after half the country. And this is the war on terror 2.0. The series traffics in all manner of innuendo and conspiracy theories that I think legitimately could lead to violence. That for me and for Stephen Hayes was the last straw. So that was, you know, the, the, the officialness of their statement, the official part of their statement. And Stephen Hayes has been a close friend, apparently, of uh, political anchor Brett Bayer since their college days at DePaul University, it says here. Uh, 
both Hayes and Goldberg were part of uh, Brett Baer's special report segment on his program since they joined the network, um, what, 12 years ago. And together, Stephen Hayes and Jonah Goldberg co-founded the conservative news site that is named The Dispatch. Uh, This is the first I've heard of it, but there you go. Now, according to people with direct knowledge, the resignations of these two from the Fox sewer, from from this uh, propaganda Nazi organization that is allowed to continue, why, I don't know, and don't say because of the First Amendment. These fuckers are trying to burn the First Amendment. But the resignations apparently reflect a much larger tumult within Fox News over Field Marshal Carlson's so a series called Patriot Purge and his increasingly insane points of view and over the network's willingness to let people like Field Marshal Carlson make up these lies and paranoid paranoid claims against Joe Biden, his administration, and his supporters. Tucker Carlson is the most dangerous element of American society right now. The most dangerous. Now, according to NPR, um, people who have been on Fox's news side, the news department, veterans who have been on the news side, including... Uh, people like Brett Baer and Chris Wallace, Mike Wallace's son, they shared their objections with the Fox News Media chief executive officer. Her name is Suzanne Scott. And Wallace and Baer also complained to the president of news, Jay Wallace. No relation to Chris Wallace. Those complaints, those objections, went up to Lachlan Murdoch, the chairman and CEO of the network's parent company, Fox Corporation. As you know, Lachlan Murdoch is the son of the Nazi Rupert Murdoch. And through a senior spokeswoman, Scott and Wallace declined comment. Suzanne Scott and Jay Wallace said just no comment when approached by NPR. And Lachlan Murdoch did uh, the, basically the same thing, didn't return a request, a request for comment. Um, th- this, this, is, this is what, this is how it works in fascism. These, these reports, these statements, these realities come out, and the Nazis will not comment. They don't have to. They don't have to. Especially when you have a cable operation as widespread and as poisonous as the Fox sewer. You, you don't have to say shit. Now, Jonah Goldberg said that he'd been assured by the leaders of Fox News that when the orange vomit left Washington after he was kicked to the curb, that the Fox network would tamp down on incendiary comments and bullshit claims. Jonah Goldberg... Uh, says instead that the decision by Fox's election analysts to be the first to project that Biden would win Arizona on election night last November, that's what led the network's stars, including Field Marshal Carlson, to demonstrate their dedication to the orange vomit and to his sick, twisted core. And that led Fox's opinion stars, people like the little rat fucker Sean Hannity and the crazy bitch, uh, what's her name, who comes after Hannity, to embrace increasingly bullshit loaded positions. Um, Now, keep in mind that Fox News is currently facing two, count them, two multi-billion dollar lawsuits from the voting technology companies who say in their lawsuits that they were defamed by this filth sewer propaganda uh, um, um, outlet. 
and who supported Trump's grandiose and bullshit claims of election fraud. And, of course, the Fox sewer has filed motions to try to have both lawsuits dismissed. We'll, we'll see what happens there, right? Now, Fox News, Fox sewer, also got rid of the leaders of its political desk. They laid off a bunch of researchers and installed a new opinion hour at 7 p.m. They shifted one of their news anchors, uh, Martha McCollum, from that time to mid-afternoon, where she wouldn't be as noticeable because she was not coming on uh, with the kind of incendiary lies and deception that the rest of these scum were coming on with. And then the news anchor at 11 p.m., Shannon Bream, she was pushed back to midnight in favor of Gut, or Greg Gutfeld's uh, show. Now, all these moves, I, I, they don't mean anything to me or you, I'm sure, but all these moves moved the channel, Fox, to Trump-friendly content. What is it about Rupert Murdoch that he is so willing to fillet Donald Trump and to allow his entire news organization to do that? I mean, what does Rupert Murdoch want that he doesn't already have? Maybe it's just because that fucker hates the United States to the same degree that Trump and Field Marshal Carlson and the rest of these swine hate the United States because we have too many, oh, I don't know what, women, people of color, immigrants, liberals, People who say fuck you to people like Murdoch? I can't think of another reason. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.